beautiful, isn't it? I'm on the rooftop. So many honey shit. What's down there? So beautiful. Hey there, my name is Lei. In the last video, I have, have shown you my apartment in Shenzhen. Uh, if you haven't checked that video, check it out. So as I'm walking in this community, I will show you around and talk about renting stuff. This is really like a, a community. Yeah, I did. So here is the main gate. Here is the main gate. You got uh, security 24 hours to secure the area and then oh yeah I forgot to show you that that's a market and that's a restaurant they're selling the bowl so follow this way we have we have the pharmacy and yeah, let's go this way up there until okay so here you can see is a pharmacy inside this community so you don't have to you don't have to you know go outside to buy some medicines and here i want to show you guys is that let's go inside you can see the this is a rear where you can get your puzzle you know the temporary store the temporary storage so you can see some people are waiting there to get the puzzles so in order to get your puzzle you have to either show them the number you get the specific number or scan that qr code so if you're not home you can get the puzzle here it's very secret spot and okay so the topic i want to talk about today is about the ranking stuff take my advice and save your money yeah so number one is that do not rent an apartment with a real estate uh, agent or an agency do not rent it with them i personally do not prefer to you know talk about someone you need and they get they maybe get something wrong you know this idea they talk about things they want they just want to get the money you know as soon as possible they get the money they can disappear or anything else so you don't care about your needs they just care about how much you can pay and how much they can learn from you so that's the number one reason i don't like or maybe i'm supposed to say i don't suggest to rent with a real estate agent yep that's the thing <clears throat> oh look at look at this look at this grainy stuff over there so i'm climbing up the stairs so how many stairs are there? Nice view, eh? So for me, if you rent an apartment with a real estate agent, you get zero benefits. I mean zero, zero, literally zero pros, but many coins. The coins like you have to explain what you need and sometimes you get the wrong idea you know and also some agents they will play tricks with you you know because they want to get the money so they maybe post a different picture and then you go there check the room oh that's too small not the one i see on the picture that happens a lot in china you know and uh, some but i'm not talking about all agencies are bad especially if you don't speak chinese so you know rent through an agent it's not that bad but personally i i just suggest you guys if you can speak uh, chinese or you know try to speak chinese because you're in china so i don't know yeah maybe if you're in china try to speak try to speak chinese or try to use a translator so do not try do not find the agent they will oh look at this they will try to you know squeeze your wallet that's the thing i think i'm lost okay uh, uh, let me let me go this way let me go this way you can see this 
these people are, you know, relaxed, chilling, exercising. Yep, it's like a garden. And the second thing is that where uh, you have to, you have to find the right platform. If you find apartment without uh, agent, so you have to find uh, the right platform. Uh, so the details you can find in my another video. I will post the link in the description here. You can find the uh, uh, you can find uh, the details about how to uh, how to rent an apartment online and uh, where to go for the apartment resources. You know something like that. So I have a lot of. Uh, details I talked about in that video. So, oh, what's that? What's that? Gambling? Or perhaps just a game for the oldies? Let me check it out. There's a secret spot. I'll just go through here. Yep, like, like this guy did. I'll just okay. I can't go. Uh, anyway, I'll just go another way. Recycle bin. Yeah. So the second second point, you can get the details about where to find the right platform in my another video. And here is another player here. I think there is another career for the. You know the table games and also the poke, poker or whatever. Hope these guys are not gambling, but not my, not my point. It's not my business. Okay, so let me just go through here. Oh, and number th number three is that try to find the sublease. You know, uh, because in Shenzhen. Um, the chance of meeting the landlord is extremely rare. Mostly, most time you will find the agent because they are, you know, the business. So what what you want is try to find the sublease. That's to make sure you are not gonna play by the tricks. You know that uh, some agents have still the same thing. Okay, well, so that end, I'll go another way. And also regarding to this point, you can check my another video I post in the down in the description be uh, below. So the same and in the same video, yeah, the renting stuff video, the details you can get in that video. Okay, so number four is that things you need to ask other than your personal preferences. Okay. So things like the price of electricity, generally in Shenzhen, the price of electricity is from uh, 0.6 to 1.5 per kilowatt uh, per hour. Yeah, let me repeat. So usually in Shenzhen, the price of electricity is 0.6 to 1.5 per kilowatt hour. And the price of water is from 4 to 8 yuan per cubic meter cubic uh, sorry cubic meter so uh, so you have to ask some uh, is there any other fees like uh, the management fee and pro uh, property fee and the cleaning fee and is there elevator or not and uh, how to pay how much is a security deposit then you can discuss the time of uh, viewing, sign contract, normal pro process. You know, just follow the normal process. Okay, I think this this is a this is a mountain. So this community is built on this mountain. Yeah, definitely, that's for sure because you can see them the the edge of the mountain. Definitely, is man-made. Hey, what are you doing? okay okay that's it for today and thanks for watching and have a good one
Okay, this is newspaper, but it's not for the for the reading. It's for pet pet litter. So you can get free the the free pet litter bag from here. And these are some rubbish bins or garbage bins or recycle bins. Have the metal, glass, plastic, paper, lots of categories. See, so you see what what's an what's a uh, community looks like in China. It's like uh, it's a real community. Now you get the meaning of this name because because you can get food, you can get. Uh, markets you get shopping malls uh, no, wait no shopping mall but you get uh, exercise area and also the gym but gym is uh, not in my video I'll show you another day if you want because it's very near to the beginning of this video I mean the place of where I came from and I like this community you know it's like a real community thing you get um, anything you like, even the pharmacy and uh, uh, restaurants. So you don't have to go outside if you if you want. You know, keep yourself inside of this community. It's all right. And you see, this is another playground. I like the way people manage this all things. So this is just a tiny spot in Shenzhen. Imagine that there are lots of communities like this which is very convenient for people